Hey, thanks for dropping in. This is Turon, a very popular snack slash dessert that can be found in just about every Filipino household. It was definitely a staple in mine. Now, admittedly, the one pictured is a restaurant version that's on a fancy side, but at its most basic, Turon is banana, wrapped in spring roll wrapper, and fried. Today I'm messing with a formula and making Turon using apples. So let's get going. To begin, I'll need apples. I'm using old dependable Granny Smiths. They're a nice middle ground of taste and texture. To enhance their flavor, I'm adding spices, specifically cinnamon and nutmeg. All spice and ginger would be great here as well. I've also got some salt in that bowl. Finally, for sweetness, some brown sugar. Now, if you're looking at this table of ingredients and thinking to yourself that I'm basically making apple pie filling, you're absolutely right. I'm making apple pie filling. Except instead of a crust, it's going into these. Spring roll wrappers. It's going to be terrific. Before any wrapping can happen, I need to prep these apples. To do that, I simply lop off both ends, then use a veggie peeler to remove the peel and any brown bits. After that, it's a simple matter of cutting the apples into bite-sized bits. They don't have to be perfect, but they do need to be done fast so that they don't oxidize and turn brown. If you're worried about that, just spritz the apples with a bit of lemon juice. As soon as the apples are ready, I drop some butter into a pan. Once the butter starts melting, I add the apples. I'll let this cook about 3 or 4 minutes, just to soften them a bit. Then it's in with the spices and salt. By the way, sorry for any background noise during this video. My wife and daughter are in the next room, they've started putting up Christmas decorations, and it's not a quiet activity. Nor should it be. Uh, Christmas should be loud and boisterous and celebratory. Anyway, back to the apples. I'll keep them going another two or three minutes. That'll give the spices a chance to really cook into the fruit. Alright, this is looking pretty good. So now I can go in with the sugar. as well as a little splash of water, just to loosen things up and keep the sugar from burning. I'll bring this to a simmer and let this cook for about 5 minutes. The apples should be ready, so I'll give one a try. I gotta be careful not to burn myself. Yep, it's tender, but still has a bit of bite. Definitely not mushy. And the spices are doing their thing. It's time to turn off the heat and pull these guys out. As I do, you can see how dark that sauce has become. I don't want to take it any further, or once it cools, it might set and become brittle instead of being pourable. Alright, my apples have cooled a bit, and my sauce moved to a cup, ready to pour. It's time to assemble. So here again are my wrappers. I separated them so they're easier to handle, and I'll top them with a moist paper towel so they don't dry out. I've also readied a bowl of flour mixed with a little cold water. This will be the glue that holds the turons together. To make a turon, I lay down a wrapper with a pointy end towards me. I'll put down about a heap tablespoon of filling on the closest edge. Maybe a bit more. Okay, now that's too much. I'll take some back. In case you can't tell, wrapping spring rolls isn't my strongest point. I've heard that it takes about a thousand tries to get good at it, and I'm still about 800 short. Anyway, once the filling's in, I grab the edge and try to roll it tight against the filling. Then it's in with the sides. Then nice and tight until close to the opposite edge. After that, a little dab of glue to hold it together. Then roll up the last little bit, and that's it. Not too bad. My Lola would be proud. Now I just have to make a few more. My oil is nice and hot. It's time to get frying. You can do this deep fry if you like. I'm going to stick with my family's method though, which is shallow frying and rotating the turons to get them evenly browned. It's tradition. I've got seven made and they should fit nicely into my pan. The extra filling and wrappers are in my fridge, ready to be made another day. These shouldn't take more than about five to seven minutes to cook. It's been three minutes and my turons are ready to flip. Then 
Yeah, that's looking pretty good. For good measure, I'll probably rotate them a couple more times, just to get them as evenly browned as possible. So here we are after six minutes, and my turons are looking gorgeous and crisp. Time to get them out and on a plate. And here they are. Crispy, sweet apple turons. Let me just pull them more into frame here. They're piping hot and delicious. The only thing that could make them better is a nice drizzle of this caramel sauce that's also picked up the flavors and the apples and spices. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Before you go, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons and drop me a comment while you're at it. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.